Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, I would say it's, it wasn't something that happened overnight, believe you me. After my divorce, you know, when my marriage fell, I was like, I am done with men. Like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, you know. But that was the pain talking, to be honest, you know. So when the pain had subsided, I, it was a whole journey that I went on in search of myself. Like, consciously, I did not just, I knew the pain was heavy. And I knew that if I sit here for longer, I was not going to survive. You know, I could be alive, but I would literally be a walking dead person. So I went in search for myself. I went in search for how do women who have experienced this survive? You know, how do women who have experienced divorce at an early age, you know, survive? And one of the people, I don't know if you're a Christian that I like followed very closely her story was Sarah Jakes, the daughter of T.D. Jakes. So I intentionally picked her out because they know she had faced divorce, uh, divorce in her life as well. And she and eventually we married. I just wanted to follow someone who had been through my similar situation and rose back up. So I started listening to her messages a lot. I was listening to the things she has to share about her journey. So that was the beginning of me you know, finding my healing and letting down the walls of I'm done with men and that kind of language, you know, you, you don't speak like that, you know, so eventually I, I, re, I started getting my healing from just seeing someone who had been in a similar situation like me rose back up more powerfully than ever. And I was like, yes, if she can do this, I can do this. Though we are on different paths and we're fulfilling different purposes, but she was one person that, that I listened to so much and it helped me see myself in her you know so that was the beginning of the journey and i eventually started telling myself that i am not going to build walls everything in me wants to build a wall but i will not build a wall and i remember listening to td jacks the father of course and he said something during one of his messages that was it even td jacks maybe it's not him i think it's someone else i can't remember the name the person said this is probably not your last heart break you're probably still gonna get two or three <laughs> i was like wow this is the reality, right? So I make peace with that. I'm like, probably this is not the last one. And so if I'm still going to get maybe two or three before I'm finally okay, I'll need to learn to let the, put, put those walls down. And so it hasn't been an easy journey, believe you me, but the in, I'm intentional about keeping the walls down because if I take a brush and paint all men the same, the person to lose out is really me, no one else. You know, if I build the walls and hide myself behind them, the, the person to lose out is me, not, not anyone else. Because the same walls that keep the bad guys out will also keep the good ones out, like I put in that post. The same walls, you know, that will keep pain out also keeps, you know, growth out. It keeps opportunities out. It keeps blessings out. And I was like, why should I do that to myself? I am going to open up. I haven't seen anyone really die of heartbreak unless they willingly decided to do that. So I'm going to let this heartbreak as many times as it can before it to get strong and it to teach it to allow this brokenness somehow, you know, to accept it, embrace it and heal from it and learn from it and teach others to put the walls down. 